guys amy here and welcome to my channel today we're going to be talking about some of my new decks and when they're going to be released i've been working super hard in 2021 and i'm so excited to share all the new projects that i have with you guys i'm even more excited to see how you guys are going to work with some of these decks so without further ado let's cam down and get right into it all right I was supposed to go live tomorrow, but I'm doing it now because I got some time. I'm home early. Um, if you guys hear any stomping, it's because my son's room is right on top of my office at home. So you might hear some little footsteps. Just the uh, heads up on that. Uh, he's one and a half now and he um, he's a runner. So <laughs> sorry about that in advance. Um, so I'm gonna I'm get right into it, but basically right here, what you all see in front of you is what, two, four, six, eight, nine, I could say eight, basically different decks that I started in 2021, um, and now here they are, and, um, these are all, well, the, aside from these two, the rest of these are all, um, hard copies. And then these two are prototypes. Um, it's it's like the newest deck that I finished. And I'm so proud of it. Um, mostly because you guys know I do the cutesy decks. Um, you know, I do the cutesy decks. So I really pushed myself um, to get this deck, uh, to do this deck and conceptualize things and all that good stuff. So I'm, I'm like really excited to show you guys this one in particular because it's the only dark deck that i've ever made and it's my first dark deck i want to make some more but i'm very 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 um proud of this project in specific um just just for my whole shadow working purposes and healing and all that good stuff so i can't wait to show you guys this um all right and then so here i'm just gonna show you guys what we have in front of us um starting with the little buddha oracle this is something I started working on after I launched um, the Little Buddha Tarot campaign. And um, I wanted to compare how quickly I was able to get this done versus the book. Um, and it's mostly because my passion is in the artwork and um, it takes me a lot more time um, to sit down and like have my mind be still and be in like writing mode. But when it comes to artwork and design and graphics and all that good stuff, I'm all over it that's that's the thing that excites me and that's the thing that um that I love to do and that's art so of course it, it you know it just um was a lot easier and I'm able to work a lot more efficiently when it has to do with artwork um so next is the trauma oracle um this this box is a bit glossy and um, also, I want to say these I had express shipped to me, so I don't have um, the full print run. I only have um, three of each copy here with me right now. And um, sometimes the mail, they're very careless with the mail. So there might be like dings on the boxes here and there. And that's why you guys see a lot of factory seconds. A lot of um, deck creators have factory seconds because sometimes the mailing system is just not the best and they, and they just, um, they're a bit careless with, with handling. Um, this, I'll, I'll wait for this one. This one is the Wonder World Tarot. And um, it's another one that I'm so, so proud of. I designed this entire box inside and out. And um, I actually haven't opened any of these yet because I've been waiting to, to see it with you guys and experience that with you guys. So I, I really want to crack it open, um, but I'm not I'm not going to. I held out and I'm proud of myself for that. Um, next is the Little Wizards. And um, <laughs> oh my gosh, this one has the rose petal. Um, these two have that rose petal finish. So the it just feels um amazing um this one has rose petal finish on the box as well so all right and then we have the dream tarot which is my latest kickstarter um i made a bunch of upgrades to this one so i'm happy to see it the way it is now because um the other option was a tuck box and i am not a fan of tuck boxes and so i'm so happy that um that I was able to um, get that done on there. 
And then we have the Smith & Morty, which um, is my only full deck that comes in a tuck box. This deck is meant to be a workhorse deck. It's meant to be something um, that is easy to use, at least for me. But I, I do have a bit of a sense of humor, like an, uh, um, I want to say more than an average person. I think stuff is funny and I joke a lot. And so um, this this just does it for me as far as my goofball personality. Um, the Smith & Morty really does it for me. And um, it's it's an easy go-to and it, it reads super well um, just off the fly. Um, it's a bit quirky, quirky and all that good stuff. All right, so which deck do you guys wanna see first? Just, just throw it out there, somebody in the chat. First person wins. <laughs> Be impatient, drop a name, little wizards. All right, so um, I don't have the avatar um, deck yet. I don't have it, I don't have that one yet. That one, um, I finished after all these, but um, it is complete. All right, um, let's little wizards first. All right, so what I wanted to do was um, pull out the, the prototype so you guys could see the elevation process. Um, so this is the first um, box that I designed and I hated it. When I got it, I was like, oh my God, I don't like this. I don't... It looked good on my screen, but it doesn't look good now. And so um, it kind of uh, evolved, I would say, into this design, which felt a lot less busy. It still had the elements that I want with the night sky. And um, I made the moon glow a little bit more. I made the color a little bit lighter. So it felt like more uh, realistic nighttime. And, um, you know, with this gradient effect and the clouds and um, yeah. So and then this morphed into this box, of course, where the logo comes on. I um, took the scarves off of the little... Um, ghosts i'll call them and then um i added i added a larger one which it looks a lot more realistic to me and the feathers and move the logo over to the side which is where i'm putting um all of my logos on boxes and um also i get to decorate the top which i love doing for the magnetic boxes um and honestly, like after doing my first decks and magnetic boxes, tuck boxes just feel like crap to me. All right, so I now the deck comparisons. All right, so now is the moment of truth. Drum roll, okay. Bam. Ah! Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so um, I put, I had. The, a different background that I had um, wrapped around here just because I thought it would make it look a lot more cool. And um, I do like that. Now for the edging, oh my gosh. Okay. So um, these lines that you see here are from the stars. So um, that, that I guess is, is unavoidable that the, the back, you will see a piece of the back design because that's the way the card is constructed. And um, another thing that I did <laughs> was change the back design. And this one, this one, let me tell you, it, it this thing went through so many different back designs because I didn't like it. I was like, I wanted the curtains to, to feel like you're opening curtains, but I wasn't liking the way these were coming out. And then I wanted it to be reversible. So, um, I just went ahead and made the curtains larger and I I designed this myself and um I'm I'm really happy with it. I think it looks so much better um than the old one. So much better. Um another thing that changed um I had planned to do blue edging to match the curtains on the side and then I just changed my mind and went with the purple cuz I thought it had um a better feel and so no th these are not linen um the prototype i got linen because i wanted to see how i felt about linen cardstock 
But then ultimately, I went ahead and went with um, just a normal, I wouldn't even, it's not even normal because it has a rose petal finish, which I um, like decks with rose petal finish. And so I wanted to make one um, myself and I felt like the texture would lend itself well to um, the night theme that I have in the Little Wizards deck. And um, I got to say, it, it feels incredibly uh, luxurious. Um, the feeling, the feeling of the this uh, material, I guess you could say, or the texture of it all, it, it feels so soft and, and just like luxurious. Um, so um, I'll, I'll flip through some of the cards, but you guys already, you, you guys already seen the cards, but um, I don't need to flip through the cards. I won't do that. It'll take forever. We'll be here all night. Um, but yeah, this is the Little Wizards. Um, I'll, I'll go through a couple of cards just so we can get an idea of how, um, matter of fact, what I'll, yeah, I'll do is show you just the difference in the color and the feel. And this is why it's so important. And when I, when I get, um, my YouTube up and stuff like that, I just got it started, but I'm going to be talking about the importance of getting a prototype for decks. Cause I know there's a lot of people that want to make decks or whatever. And then, um, there's not a lot of information from creators out there. So um, it's, it's so, so important to get a prototype because you, you just never know what you're going to get. Um, but let me show you guys just a few. Um, this is another one. Like this one is like really, really bright. But this one just is so luxurious. And um, I don't know. Let's see how it looks. Oh, OK. Um, you can see it more in the light here. Uh, yeah, but, um, ultimately, let me put that card over here. I'm really, really happy with, um, how it looks. And at first I was upset about the edging, but it kind of gives it a cool effect, like being able to see the stars from the sides. So, um, yeah, I ain't mad at it. So that's the Little Wizards, guys. Um... Is there anything else about this one? No, it has the extra card. Um, oh my gosh, I had so much fun making this. This is one of my favorite cards though. I just love those curtains that you can see them um, on the back. And what'd you say? I miss hearing if they will all come with guidebooks, booklets. No, none of these are coming with books. And the reason is because it takes me too long to write them. The only, I, I won't say the only, but I don't, I don't foresee myself um, writing a book for, a, after the little Buddha for a while. Like I'm, I am, uh, I'm good off books. I'm going to do one for um, the Twisted Tarot of Shadows, just because it's a part of my shadow work process. And it's really easy for me to write about um, that kind of stuff um but for the most part nah the 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 meanings are pretty um rws if you're familiar with that system and um I'm, I'm gonna be on youtube talking about the decks as well so um you know and, and if anyone has any questions about anything feel free to reach out to me because i do get a lot of emails and stuff um sometimes oh so all right so okay Next, we're going to talk about next. Somebody drop it in the chat. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I had so much fun um, making those, making that deck. Um, I'm a huge, huge, huge fan. So it came um, super easy for me. With the box style on the side so pretty thank you i might run over it with um some coloring too uh-oh smith and morty um i might run over it with a um with one of my uh ink pads all right smith and morty this one isn't a tuck box so <sighs> tuck boxes are are really not my favorite um i decided to get the smith and morty edged with a nice bright color um this red and it's mostly because a lot of the cards have red in it 
like I can bounce around here and you're gonna see red and um pretty much like not all the cards but it's it's the primary color of the deck basically let me say that um and so yeah um this is the smith and morty the the red just gives it so much character and again um this one i love making it it's my version of a rider weight smith of you know a real clone but of course it has to be goofy um yes they all come with title cards i like i like the title card i think um it helps protect the deck and then it's also you know it gives a bit of information and um some people use it as bookmarks and whatnot and so um you know just give that option um so yeah i got a lot of um people weren't happy that i didn't use actual rick and morty characters in this deck and um for for this one in particular it's a, it's a right away smith smith clone and um it's just meant to be a little bit um unblock let's unblock um yeah it's meant to be goofy and just like a right away smith clone so you know um i like this a lot and it's just cartoony it's quirky it's a little bit weird um but when when i do readings with this deck like this i use it so much more than i thought i would um compared to you know because i have a pretty large collection and um i didn't know that i would be wanting to use this deck so much but it has completely replaced the right away smith um and i i love it i love working with this deck oh look at those eyeballs the eyeballs are so funny this cardstock is so good like it's matte um and it has like a little it has flexibility to it but it's soft and it feels um really good so that's the smith and morty and um what's next What's next? What's next? What's next? We did little wizards already. <laughs> Brian, so yeah, right now the Smith and Morty is on pre-order because um it was a part of the Dream Tarot campaign. So um that one, yeah, you can pre-order that one. Um yeah. I gotta stop saying um, I'm so terrible. Okay, so okay. Wonder World next. All right, let me move these out of the way. Um, the Wonder World, this is the evolution of the Wonder World. And I wanted to see um, how I felt about a pocket deck. So I did get a pocket deck. Um, I'm going to take all of these out the box so you guys could see um, what it takes to really get to that point where I'm happy with the deck. I could not for the life of me decide on a back design color for the Wonder World Tarot. And um, it's a surprise because I know this is the back that I shared with you all. Um, this one in particular was the one that we had all voted for. And um, I, I, I love it. I love it. But when it came to me placing that order and me picking the the edging design, uh, color and um you know the whole the whole shebang i just fell in love <laughs> let me tell you with this black and white and and something about the black and white to me feels like wonderland it feels like wonder world the not knowing the light the dark and um i really just love this black and white checkerboard um over these other two uh, which they're not bad but um i think the black and white one definitely hits a lot harder this is the full before i had added um a sun to it now there's a sun in the full but just to show you the difference in cardstock this one's matte this one is like a semi-gloss with the color the colors are um, more vibrant um, but then again this is a super colorful deck in general so um it's gonna be good uh, so bam 
Um, I haven't opened up the pre-orders yet, but I'm gonna talk about I'm gonna talk about it at the end. Right now, I'm just excited to look at all these because I haven't looked at them yet. But um, so the edging for this, I don't know if you guys can see it well on the camera, but it's like a really sheer gray. Um, and the reason I picked gray is because I felt like the gray area between the black and white. And I wanted it to be sheer so that you guys can get that stripe effect. Look at the stripes. The stripes really do it for me. Um, just shuffling and seeing those stripes. It just it just feels like a really cool effect. And I like how it looks with the, the light gray um, added all around. And it feels really subtle. And this is a busy design. So I didn't want to pick a color that was overpowering. I really wanted the design to shine through on this one so uh this one also has a um i won't call it rose petal it's it's called silk matte that's what um the printers and i refer to it as silk matte and it's just i don't know if you guys can hear that but it feels amazing and um i <laughs> i cannot tell you I, I watched this movie so many times. I love Alice in Wonderland. And I am a huge Tim Burton fan. I love that version. I love every version. But um, this one is my version. And, you know, Alice looks different. We know it's her, but she has a different um, <laughs> lens, I guess. I love this art style. I can't, I can't... Um, emphasize that enough the art style to me is so push kitty it's so perfect just um it's just gorgeous and some of these characters um you guys know the characters but this deck <laughs> i i just love it so much and sometimes when i look at the outcomes i, I just can't believe that that i've, I've even done this um you know, just to start something and finish it and um, set goals and meet goals. It, it just really is is healing for me, particularly just just because of my my life experience and whatnot. But um, I love this deck. I had changed this guy, <laughs> the executioner. But yeah, um, you guys have seen the cards. I won't keep you here all day. You do have an extra sun card. Yes, you do. And the reason, I remember Tio, I sent this deck to Tio, and he was like, uh, there are two sun cards. What is the difference? And he couldn't tell the difference. It was so funny. Um, but the difference is that one sun has snot and one does not. That's the only difference. And the reason why I decided to add both is because, for me, the snot in this one kind of represents, like, ridding your body of impurities, like when 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 you're sick, the first thing your body your, your nose is running like you're getting this the bacteria and and just all the bad stuff out of you. And and um, that's the artistic choice here. Um, and then over here. This one has no snot just because I felt like some people might not like the snot. And then, you know, for my personality, I love it. But some people might not want to see snot on their cards. So I just changed up the color. Um, and I will be using the one with the snot, but if, if people want to keep them both in there and have different meanings for the cards, um, you can, you can associate whatever you want with that snot, but just think about, um, the concept behind it. And, um, hi, Andrew. Hey, Andrew. Um, uh, so yeah, that's the wonder world. Um, and some of the changes that I made to it. Just, just during uh, what I call the elevation process, because I do go through a process of elevating um, my decks before I send the artwork to the printer. And um, so sometimes there are like these little tweaks and little changes last minute, and it's because of that elevation process. Ooh, I like these, I love these. Alrighty, so what's next? What's next? Uh, let's see what we got here. Anybody want to pick what's next? Oh, yeah, I want me to pick. All right, I'm going to pick. I'm going to pick. So next, we're going to go with the little Buddha Oracle. Oh, thank you so much. 
so much, Freaky B. It was so sweet. Thank you. All right, this deck. <laughs> um, I know I told you guys that I was working on this, and this one's really I'm trying to get it out the, the reflection of the light because it's glossy. Um, but I did tell you guys I was working on this. Um, I don't have the avatar with me yet. I don't have that one. That one's gonna be last. All right. Um, so yeah, let's get into these. All right, so the little Buddha Oracle, um, I, I had gotten feedback from people saying that they don't have any Oracle decks that match with the little Buddha tarot. And um, I watched a lot of reviews and people, um, you know, I, I guess, I guess it is different. It's a lot different um, from the Oracle decks that are out there. And so, yeah, here it is. Um, this one comes in a two-piece box. And I have the clouds dripped all through all the cards. Um, inside, oh, it's so cute. Look at that. I threw them in the, this is from one of the cards. And I had put it in there. Um, but yeah, that's the box design. I always write a little message on the back. Little lotus flower, the ohm symbol, and of course the peace, love, and namaste, which um, is a part of the messages in the little Buddha tarot, which they are very much nearby. Okay, so the next surprise for the little Buddha oracle, um, I think I'm going to start just making the decks and, and not talking about it as much because it was so... Um, like i don't know it felt a little bit more seamless when i was doing this deck without sharing it first and look at the pink on there oh and another thing i just wanted to have the decks at least shipped to me before i do any kickstarters because that way it makes the delivery process and the fulfillment process a lot faster um like for some folks they're still waiting on little buddha items because i haven't finished the book and so I want to make sure I have stuff finished before I move forward with um, Kickstarters or anything. And it's, a, it's an investment, but hey, you know, it's all good. So this is the first bag, and this is the second one. I decided to add the pop of pink in there. And um, I just like the color pink for this deck because I feel like it represents gentle masculinity. I love pink. Pink is my favorite color. Um, it's just really beautiful for me pink yellow and blue i love all of them but um particularly this shade of pink is so pretty if you guys can't tell i just like pink um i got my hello kitty robe on because it's kind of cold but yeah so here we have um this really light powder pink on the edging and i haven't shared many of these cards i haven't put it up on the website or anything because i really wanted it to be a surprise for you guys to see them um of course, you know, I do the title cards and whatnot, but <laughs> ask for help and you were fine. Assistance was near the entire time. Believe in miracles. Courage is contagious. Decompress. Do the inner work. Do your research. Don't force it. Just ride the wave. <laughs> Don't be afraid to evolve. So cute. And I put the frog um, for this one in the tap holes here so you can see, you know, the evolution process. Dream bigger, dream water, fulfill your heart's desires. Okay, I secretly want a mirror to be a doctor. And so this is my way of living vicariously, vicariously through a mirror. <laughs> so funny. He can be whatever he wants to be, but but I would be like really proud if he was a doctor and like save people and help people so um what's that enjoy your happy snack and this doesn't have to necessarily be food it's more of like your fix your happy fix forgiveness equals freedom pace yourself friends are the family we choose give yourself permission to be happy gratitude is a healthy form of reflection and then here's like some um things i'm grateful for uh happiness lasts longer when you create it yourself and oh i love that one harvest time healing is a process one step at a time 
Healing takes effort with choices aligned. So I pretty much threw some poems on here. Like this one's a good example. I'm so glad I was about to talk about this. It's so funny. Um, I put some quotes on some of these cards as well. Some of them are just things I thought of randomly in my head. And some of them are like direct quotes. And um, this one is, is something my grandma used to always tell me. She used to tell me if, if it can get you in the dark, it can get you in the light. And um, I had to put my grandma on this card because it, there will be times where I would say that I'm afraid of the dark. And this is what she would tell me. And it makes so much sense. <laughs> so um, this card is very important to me. It's okay to unplug. Just keep swimming. This is a quote by Dory from Finding Nemo. It's so freaking cute. I almost put a, um, a Dory fish in there keep going there is light at the end of the tunnel kick back and relax life is like a box of chocolates from forrest gump's mom um so that's that's what i have there it's something else um that i did want to show you guys and, and i will show you guys these in a separate video i don't want to take too long because i have so many decks and um i want to show you guys uh the little buddha oracle um, but I did uh, decide at the end that I wanted to have 10 extra cards that were quotes from Buddha, okay? And um, I am so in love with these cards. Um, but these are Buddha quotes from Les Smile More. Each morning we are born again. What you feel, you attract. Fear less, love more what we think we become what we do today is what matters most think less feel more and watch less do more so these are all um little buddha quotes and yeah little buddha he has his little um companion friend here and it's so funny if, if i want to tell my grandma but her, um, her quote she'd be so happy um, but it's the little things that that really stick with us throughout life. And um, this one is is really meant to be, um, you know, a, a gentle way, a gentle way to work with Oracle and like some of the hard messages, because the hard messages are in there. They're they're just um, they're they're kind of hidden, even even with the uh, card from Grandma Pat. Um, there are a lot of hidden messages in this in this cute little deck. Surround yourself with like-minded individuals. And, and um, think about when people do things together, when they get married, they, they either sink or swim together. And so that's something I thought about um, with, with hiding these little messages. The great connection. That little flower needs to be planted. Um... Uh, Another Buddha quote here, the mind is everything, which you think you become. Um, yeah, so that's the little Buddha oracle, guys. Um, the cardstock is really nice on these. I like the mat. And um, that's it for that one. All right, so next, let's see what we're doing next. If y'all don't drop something in, I'm going to pick something. Let's go with... The dream tarot. Dream tarot time. Dream tarot is my more recent Kickstarter. And um, this one went through the big elevation process with the magnetic box. This is my first time having a semi-gloss box. And I will say, I tried to give the semi-gloss a chance. It looks really good off camera. It's like nice and shiny, but if you're someone who films a lot, glossy is not uh, your friend. And that's only the box that has the semi-gloss. The cards have this super, super amazing matte. Um, of course, the card stack has to be matte. And what I did for these... Oh, they're so pretty. I really love the back design on the Dream Tarot. Um, it just it looks so good. And it's great for a mismatch deck to me. 
um, the Dream Tarot is, is great because it's the perfect deck to use when you don't know which deck to use. <laughs> so um, here we go. Oh, for everyone who was looking for the Avatar stuff, here we go. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me just talk about the title card for a second. So I added the artist credits in the title card and um we got the majors we got you know the push the kitty stuff and then extra cards the extra card section because i did go back in and add an extra 10 cards to the dream tarot um they're interchangeable or you can keep them all in the deck it's totally what you want to do um but yeah that's the title card here we do we get into the cards now this is a deck that um i really enjoy flipping through just because you know you when you got a deck like this you never know what you're gonna get um and that's the beauty of the mismatch i cannot wait till this deck is finished the little bugs oh my gosh um that's the beauty of a mismatch deck you never know what you're gonna get and um they just i feel personality to them um they look amazing it was so great to work with all the artists everyone was just so nice and uh supportive and i'm i'm so thankful because the the dream tarot uh just let me say is a deck of of a whole full of a whole bunch of decks from from different decks my decks but mostly other creators decks and then also um just from artists just from artists who who make beautiful art and um it, it's just an honor to be able to do something like this and for people to trust you um you know it, it it's just amazing and i'm so so thankful for everyone who has contributed um to this deck uh you know and i i really want to go through um I went through these cards already and talked about who the creators were, but I need to do that again. And I want to do that a little bit more formally and have like a video out for it. Fairy tale tarot, <laughs> little wizards. Um, so yeah, this one, there's, there's just a ton of gems in here. Like we have yokai creatures. We have a card from Marion who did the reclaim Oracle, which is funny because my reclaim Oracle is always nearby. Um, but yeah, we have some cards from some super amazing creators and then also just different things that I love, like Roger Rabbit, <laughs> Jessica for the Queen of Cups. There's there's so much this deck is like my my whole soul in, in a in a deck of cards. It's it's all over the place, it's random, it likes a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of weird, a little bit of cork. You know, we got like pastels, <laughs> Chucky. Um, it's 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 so so awesome. This is Tarot Oracles, Waterfall Tarot. I love this card so much. And I watch the stream and I just love when I see this card come up when he uses his deck. Um, but you got some dark Pokemon in here, and um, like I said, it's just a little bit of everything. The black femme tarot. Um it's a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It's it's just giving. Vader. This deck is giving. All right. And then um, the 10 extra cards. So I put, I had to, because I love this card so much, I had to have um, another little wizard's card. This is from a deck that I'm about to um, be finished with soon. But this is like milk like mother's milk she's like half cow half lady um i had to have some extra empresses because i told you guys this before but there there's two different empress sides to me it's like the one that serves myself and the one that serves others and um i find a happy medium i love this emperor this she feels like me like i love her i love her whole swag and everything um so yeah, th these are the extra cards that I have in here. Um, love that judgment. Love that King of Swords. Uh, yeah, so that's the Dream Tarot. And um, this one, there's only 500 copies of this. And that includes the copies that go to the creators. 
so this one um there's not very many of them left but i love this deck and it's it's something that's coming and, and it's gone you know it's here now and then when it's gone it's gone and it's never coming back and so it's it's really special and um this is something that i would never forget you know because at, before i started making decks i was already a collector i already had a collection of over 100 decks and so i i got to work with some creators that i have admired and and really enjoyed their projects for years before this project came about and it's just it's just humbling and i just love it and um i was really inspired by the alley man's tarot i love the alley man's tarot and i was so uh lucky to get one of my cards into that deck as well so this one is is everything um all right so let's see Ooh, yes let's do oh somebody said the trauma oracle somebody said the trauma oracle so let me um let me get the trauma oracle out all right so this one got a little dinged up on the way here um uh, it's in a tough box this one didn't really have a lot of cards to make it in um a two-piece box or enough cards because there is 49 cards in this deck uh there are 49 cards in this in that deck so um that's the trauma oracle where is the prototype um it's honestly very similar to the prototype the only thing i really changed was that um this one has a brighter red i made the red a little bit more darker a little bit darker and then also i made the box a little bit semi because um it just looks really good in person um when it's not under light uh, so that's the box the cards of course it has a title card um can we just talk about the back design for a second i am in love with this back design it just it just speaks to me i love it so much just the faces and, and you know life swirling and you're here you're there and i just love this back design so much um the card stock feels amazing like it's it's uh more flexible than the little buddha tarot um cards which i wanted something a little bit more flexible this go around with with uh, most of these decks to be honest and um this deck is is really different because there are a lot of uh oracle decks out there that talk about healing light and 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 um you know all the all the healing stuff the love the light the the you know all that stuff but i haven't seen a deck that focuses on the trauma of it all you know trauma is something that we all share so i thought um you know i needed i wanted a deck and all of my decks are decks that i wanted and that's why i made them that's what always fuels me to get through this process because i want the deck and so I make them with all of me and I make them, um, you know, uh, as personal as I can, because it's, it's all about the creativity behind it all. And so this this deck, when I use it, is so powerful, it's so powerful. And I use it in a lot of different ways. And I'm going to make a video about that on my YouTube as well. Um, but this one is, is the hard stuff, right? Like baggage, betrayal booted being kicked out of somewhere um bullying child neglect codependency cognitive dissonance demons you see the back design on there depression disconnected disesteem emotional abuse emotional intelligence empathy energy vampires envy failure Fear, guilt, being heartbroken, historical trauma, homelessness, being ignored, insomnia, internalizing, isolation, loneliness, loss, manipulation, medical trauma, narcissism, physical abuse, PTSD, rejected, rejection hurts, uh, self-sabotage, I'm just flipping them on there, self-sabotage, 
sexual abuse, the road not taken, timid verbal abuse, vicarious trauma, and this one, last but not least, this is something that I had um, made last, like after the campaign was over, I went back and I had this card made and added to the deck as a surprise extra card because egoism is like a real thing. And I love this depiction of the card. Um, so this this one is something that does not shy away from the hard stuff. OK, and the reason why I selected this ghostly figure was because I wanted it to represent the soul and um, not the individual's outer shell, but the inner shell, the inner shell, um, you know, the stuff that makes us us uh, the essence of it all, uh, you know, and, and it, it wouldn't have been the same had I had a human on this card looking in the mirror and thinking about abortion. What what woman would be appropriate for a card like that? No woman would because we all experience trauma differently, but we all still experience it. It has no gender. It has no color. It does not discriminate. And so the, the little souls, the little ghosts that I have here, it just felt um, right. And, and I'm really, really happy and proud of this deck as well. All right, that's the Trauma Oracle. We still got more stuff on the table. If you guys are still with me, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm sorry I got to talk a lot this one because there's a lot um, going on here. And, and can we can we just talk about the box design for the Wonder World Tarot? Like that's that this design. It's I'm so proud of this. Like it's so good. The coloring with the light gray versus the black and white. This design, um, you know, the little fireworks and stuff. It just, I love the, the, the falling cards and the whole, <laughs> you know, the whole flash dancing um, piece of it all. I love that so much. All right, so next we're going to talk about the, the Tarot Twisted Shadows. And this is the dark deck that I made. Um, let me show you guys why there are different colored boxes all right so this is the the tarot of twisted shadows and then this is the dark edition which the decks are very similar the only difference um well there are a few differences i can't say the only difference but the first difference is the back design Okay, the back design is going to be different. And that's just because I, um, you know, the dark edition is is kind of like the, the one that's a little bit more creepy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap the colors. I'm going to have the dark edition be the lime green and the uh, first edition to be the red. And I'm going to have the, you know, of course, the cool edging and whatnot and i like because i like when i fan these because you can see the eyeballs but um other differences besides the fact that they have different back designs is um that the dark edition is gonna have an additional suit called pentagrams okay and um the reason why I wanted to have the pentagram suit is because it's it's the tarot twisted shadows and I actually looked up and did some research about the pentagram symbol and it's very interesting and um there are some people who are into nuances and learning more about different things um I'm 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 not someone who shies away from learning so I wanted to learn the difference between um the, the normal star and then the inverted star or the uh, the pentagram, the penta the pentacle versus the pentagram. And um, what I did was I I included both pentacles and pentagrams to the dark edition um, as well as changed the back design. And then um, another thing, there are two star card or three star cards in the dark edition and two star cards in the normal one. I might not include both, but um, they're all different. And it was because I had a hard time figuring out 
or deciding how I wanted to depict the card, like what I was leaning for. And so I said, you know what, screw it. I'm going with all three. And people can decide if they want to keep them or um, if they want to, you know, take some of them out. And so that this one, the dark edition has so I think like 15 or 16 extra cards. Um, and another thing that's going to be different even both editions i'm not sure yet i have to decide on that but i added um or i had my artist add a pop of color to each one of the cards and so um for the full it's like the flower the hat the shoes the magician all the tools and so i have four colors only being used throughout the deck and i want to be clear about something these are not black and white these are grayscale because some people um, think this is black and white. And um, grayscale is, is a little bit different than um, black and white. But these are grayscale. Um, I haven't shown these yet. I've showed some of them in like the readings that I've been doing. But I haven't shown um, all of the cards. And just making this dark deck. <laughs> that strength card is so confronting to me. It's so confronting that I nearly took it out the deck because I'm like, this is crazy. But then the 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 fact that I feel that way and I have that fear, it, it made me say I'm going to leave it in there. So, um, yeah, just the hermit, just carrying around um, things like trauma and, and hurt and pain and carrying all of your life experiences around with you as you try to get to a better place as you go through that introspection and and all that and, and all the processes that's why i had um these teeth with the tongues uh on the back of the hermit just to show how difficult um it can be to get through that introspective process it's really tough on the wheel i love this guy here because it's kind of like he's like looking to the side like you know that's what it is. I love this card. And um, the deck only has four colors. For, for the wands, the pops of color are all red. For the cups, it's blue. For the swords, it's purple. And for the pentacles and pentagrams, it's green. Um, but the majors, uh, about five of each major arcana card has either the red, blue, purple, or green. Because those are the only colors in the deck. And then some of the cards, like the wheel, have all four colors. And um, the color is being used really nicely, but this this addition is is going a bit further. And I also had um, some more stars added to it. Of course, we have the pentagram on the devil. But these little characters, <laughs> they're just so funny. And um, I love these. <laughs> I love these. These are so cool. I use this deck every day. I love this deck. Um, I've been using it a lot since I got the prototype in. And this is just a prototype again. So, um, you know, the final the final shebang is going to be a lot different. But <laughs> this two of wands is so funny. He's like squeezing that globe. He's like squeezing it. Usually in the right away Smith, you have the guy holding it. But this guy's like squeezing the life out of that thing. Um this one has like the similar messaging of the hermit on that but he's like you know on that destination but this deck is cool it has a lot of character to it this kind of reminds me of squid games <laughs> with the masks <laughs> yeah you're gonna find um a bunch of different little little nicks and knacks in here Full color, I don't know about full color because these are like shadow figures. So it kind of makes sense for them to be like gray. Like what color would I make this guy, you know? Um, what color would I make these things, these entities? Because um, listen, I'm, I love color. I don't have uh, a lot of black and white decks at all. I usually, that's like usually a deal breaker for me black and white decks but it really challenges you to look into the images especially with this deck because uh there's a lot of things hidden 
a lot hidden. <laughs> Look at the cup holding the other cup. And he's like, nah, I don't care. Who told you to bring me that thing? Um, yeah, but I, I really, really love this deck. It's so different. And um, who like this 10 of cups. We have, this is the, the the card that's all about the happy family, right? But but in the tarot twisted shadows, it's it's all <laughs> it's all a play. It's all a facade. You know, you got the happy the happy husband and wife, or the happy husband and husband, wife and wife, whatever. You know, um, we have that dynamic here. We have um, <laughs> this card is so telling of how. Uh, <laughs> You know how in the plays you have the set, the, the uh, what's it called? The, the, let me get myself together. The rainbow. The rainbow is being held by hooks, like the lights, camera, action. This one I had, um, I love it so much. I talk about that one for too long. Um, but yeah, this is, this is it, guys. And I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go and make a full video of this, um, Eventually, I got a whole lot of videos to make, if you guys can't tell. But I'm going to take my time with... Um, I love this Three Pentacles. Because I've been wanting to do a YouTube for a while, and I have a lot to show. Um, but you guys see how the semi-gloss, the coloring is just more vibrant like than the, uh, the matte. That's why I like the semi-gloss, even though like the light is really reflective on it. It looks really good and it feels good too. It's a little softer. All right, so that's the Tarot of Twisted Shadows. Um, I can't wait to show you. I'm gonna show you guys again when I get the colored versions. I'm gonna order them soon. I've just been like real busy. <laughs> I've been so super busy. All right, so next I'm gonna have show you guys another uh, surprise. Um, this one is the pastel kitty and um i had this this has been done for so long and i feel uh, a bit conflicted about it because i get some hate like hate from people um you know who feel like i shouldn't make novelty decks but you know there there are things called parodies and this one in particular the line art is from the original hello kitty tarot and what i did was i gave it a different life with the coloring and the effects and this is the inside of the box and um this one is another one that's not getting reprinted so i have this made in like three different colors and i'm only going to show you guys this one now i'm going to wait till later to show you guys the other colors and um they're different like i have a bold edition that where the the colors are different and then a dark like i had a lot of fun working with the color variations in this deck changing the colors to be different themes and um the line arts are part of the public domain and i guess that's where i got confused with being able to to use the line arts um i reached out to the creator uh you know all the good stuff so it's all good um and it is what it is you know but this is the pastel kitty uh it is i started it off as a majors only and let me show you guys what that one looked like so this is the majors only and this is the current version these feel like more pastel colors i guess but i love both colors and the bold edition is going to have this back um but this one feels a lot lighter and pastel-y and this one feels a lot more girly and i wanted it to be a little bit more fluid as far as um the angle but here's the box design pastel kitty reworked card inspired by tristan writer smith um all right so and i talked about here it says reworked just so it can be clear that it was reimagined i just reimagined um the line art in a way that I thought was cool. And there's a bunch of this deck, a bunch of different versions of this deck out there. And I missed all of them. Um, I'm in my 20s, guys. And um, 
some of these decks have been out. I think the original Hello Kitty deck came out in like 2003. I might be wrong, but I know it was like before I got into tarot and I come into the tarot world and I'm like, oh my gosh, I want all these novelty decks and i um, just not able to get them. So this one is also uh, the Silk Matte. And you guys have seen the majors on this deck, but you haven't seen the minors. So um, let me show you guys the minors because you guys can, they're, they're on YouTube. You guys can see the majors. And the Pastel Kitty deck is is so, the, the color tones is, is, the, is what I played a lot around with for this deck. And the color tones are just amazing, okay? So let's let you know what let me separate them so we can see them side by side um so you guys can see what i mean when i tell you that i had fun with the coloring mostly for this deck like recoloring it a bunch of times just because it was like it was like being in preschool just like coloring you know i had it recolored a bunch of times i'm like hey do this color scheme okay now do that color scheme and um this is what we got. So this feels very wandsy to me. This feels very cupsy and very swordsy and, and pentacly. If you guys know what I'm saying, the coloring suits um, the imagery just on another level. Um, and I really enjoy it. And so let, let me do them separately so you guys can get into the, the color stories a bit more. But um you put the the ace and the two back in but it dances around this color palette so well so well and i work with some of the best artists out there okay um but look at that just look at it it's it's perfect it's perfect and um all the different color variations they they're they're you know they're coming and going um you know and this one I know is one that uh, a lot of people like. The color is so cool. A lot of people missed out on the Hello Kitty decks. I know I wasn't the only one. And um, I'm just deciding that I, I learned a lot, you know, in the process. Because, listen, th I'm just now getting into um, being a creator and learning about business and all that good stuff. Um you know, I'm new to all that. I'm I'm new. So once these are gone, they're gone, you know. Um, yep. And we got swords. I love these colors. They're so cute. And the pentacles. They're very green. Very cute. Very green. Yeah, those were hockey sticks. yeah those are hockey sticks all right so that's the pasto kitty um and if you don't if you miss out on this one don't worry i, I like i said I, I have three different color variations of it so hopefully you can at least get one of the three um you know because there, there's a lot a lot a lot of of interest for that and i haven't showed that at all until now so um you guys are the first to know as far as that goes. Oh, and let me show you um, the prototype difference for that one, too. So this is the prototype box, tuck box. Old reliable tuck box. Um, or unreliable because I don't like tuck boxes. <laughs> but this one is um, the silk mat. And this one is like UV. It has like a UV finish. So this one is not reflecting any, any light. And this one is like, you know, has a lot of light. Um, of course, that one doesn't have any edging. And then the backs. I actually love the purple back. I love both. But the purple backs just feel so much more girly. <laughs> but I'm sure some of the ladies and, and men out there um, that don't, you know, folks out there might not um, want their decks to have so much pink, purple, you know, vibe to it but i guess it's it's the pastel kitty right so what what do you want you know this oh the rainbow edition right okay i forgot i, I forgot that i had um 
forgot to tell you guys i had named the edition so this is the rainbow the other one is the bold that i had mentioned before and um yeah let me see if i'm leaving anything out i feel like i covered everything <laughs> with you guys but yeah those are those are um the decks that i've been working on throughout 2021 and of course honorable mention the the little buddha tarot which is literally my baby um the start the start of it all and listen this this deck will forever no matter how many decks i make this deck will always be at the core of my heart the little buddha tarot and oh my gosh if you guys let me show you the prototype look at the difference <laughs> Listen, never go by the prototype because hopefully you'll you'll be getting something that is um, more elevated <laughs> than than uh, the prototype, you know, <laughs> back design. This is a joke. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I was like even considering this. Um, But yeah, little Buddha on deck. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you all enjoyed all the new decks. Please like and subscribe and comment your favorite decks below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.